What's going on everyone? This is Justin from jailbreakcity.com with some exciting news that iOS 6.0, 6.1 jailbreak has finally been released to the public. This is the jailbreak by the Evaders, which is the new dev team. Um, and so if you have any device running iOS 6, whether it's 6.0, 6.0.1, 6.1, whatever, as long as it's got iOS 6 on it, this jailbreak will work for your device, except for the Apple TV third generation, all right? So let's get right into it. I just practiced this uh, jailbreak with my uh, iPad third generation, that's the Retina, and it worked just great. So uh, yeah, let's dive right into it. All right, so to get started, let's go ahead and open Safari and go to the official Evasion website. So the website is evasion.com. So let's open up Safari here and go to evasion.com, E-V-A-S-I-0-N.com. And once you're here, you've got a couple of options for your operating system. So if you're on Mac, you can go ahead and click the one in the middle here. If you're on Linux, go ahead and click Linux. And Windows, you can uh, go ahead and click on Windows. Uh, let's scroll down and go over some of the requirements before we start the jailbreak. Uh, so it's going to take only five minutes of your time. I just practiced it, as I said before, on my iPad third generation, and it only took about six, seven minutes. Um, you're going to need a computer running Windows XP, Mac OS 10.5, or Linux, uh, this will work for the 32 or 64 bit operating systems for Linux. So, those are your minimum requirements for this jailbreak. Um, you're going to need your iPhone or iPad or whatever device you want to jailbreak, and you're going to need your USB cable to connect your device to your computer. Now, you're going to want to back up all of your data before you start this jailbreak, and that way, if anything goes wrong, you've got a backup of all your device's information. Also, make sure to disable passcode lock because that can cause some issues. So, just make sure to just be able to slide it and unlock it without having to enter your passcode. Also, avoid using iTunes while your device is being jailbroken as well. All right, so we're ready to get to work. So let's go ahead and download the Mac OS version for me. And that's just going to take you to this website here. So just click on, click here to download your attachment. All right, so once you have that downloaded, you can just go ahead into your downloads folder and open the DMG file that was downloaded. So there's the evasion application right there on the desktop. So you can go ahead and double click on that. You don't have to extract it if you don't want to. You can just run it directly from uh, the damage file. All right, so there's your evasion application. So what you want to do now is take your iDevice, just go ahead and connect it. There we go, with your USB cable. So it's going to pick up that I've connected my iPhone 5 there. Um, I can just go ahead and close out my iPhoto and just click on the jailbreak button and you're pretty much ready to go. Now just be patient at this point. It should take about five or six minutes to finish. Uh, so don't get too antsy. Don't touch your device. Just leave it on the table and let it finish. Now if you do get any kind of strange behavior, like for me on my third generation iPad, uh, it said finding offsets and it was stuck on that screen for three or four minutes. Um, but you, all you have to do is just hard reboot your iDevice and it should just work fine. All right, so after just a few minutes, you'll be at the point where it says to continue, please unlock your device and tap the new jailbreak icon and only tap it once. So here we go. So we're going to unlock our device and we'll move over till we see the new jailbreak icon right there so there it is we'll just tap on that and it'll just come up and then just uh, close automatically really fast don't worry about that that's perfectly normal um, that just means that it's uh, continuing with the jailbreak all right so it says the jailbreak is now complete so all you have to do at this point is wait for the device to reboot and I should have Cydia on my iPhone 5 so here you can see that it's initializing offsets, finding offsets, cleaning up. All right, so this says done continuing boot, so it should just go ahead and reboot, and we should have Cydia on our home screen. All right, so there we go. Looks like we've rebooted. Um, everything seems to be finished, so let's go ahead and slide to unlock. All right, and if we go over just a little bit, there it is, guys, Cydia on my iPhone 5. Let's go ahead and open her up. Preparing file system, so there you have it jailbroken iOS 6 device. This is my iPhone 5. I uh, already ran it with my iPad third generation. I've got Cydia running on both devices. Make sure to leave any comments or questions you have uh, down below. Now, if you want a complete step-by-step -step walkthrough on how to jailbreak your iDevice on iOS 6, we have that in the link in the description below. So just click that link and you'll get the full step-by-step uh, -step guide on how to jailbreak your iDevice. So now that jailbreaking is back on all iOS 6 devices, I want to hear from you guys. What's the first tweak or theme that you're going to install on your devices. Um, I'm thinking mine is going to be OXO probably, um, but I want to hear what you guys have to say. Leave all of your comments in the comments below. Um, it's, I'm super excited that jailbreaking is back. Uh, I can't wait to uh, go to Cydia and start installing some packages. So thanks again for watching guys and I will see you guys later.